but we don't have to simplify yet. Um, I don't know. Yeah, and that's that's what I was referring to. So yes, we could simplify 14 and 7 using what is considered cross simplification. For example, 14 divided by 7, uh, well, 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So technically, something multiplied by 1 is just going to be itself. We don't really need that there. Okay. And what this becomes now is we got a 10 minus 2x times 2 all divided by 5x minus 25. And yes, that's multiplication. So yeah, we can't simplify the 10 and 25 because technically both of these are part of binomials. So, uh, meaning if, if we can factor out something so that the binomials are the same, then we may be able to, may be able to cancel something out. Which we're going to do here anyways. For example, 10 minus 2x, both those numbers are even. So I know I can factor out from those, I can factor out a 2, leaving us with 5 minus x. Now that was multiplied by 2 on the other side. If I wanted to use the commutative property, I can put that in front. Which just gives me 2 times 2. In the denominator, here I've got this 5x minus 25. If I factor out a 5, then in the parentheses I should be left with an x minus 5. So this is another one of those examples where this binomial here in purple is very similar to this binomial here in blue. But I need to manipulate it so that they are exactly the same so that I can cancel them out. Uh, so yeah, if, if I would have factored out a negative 5, it would have allowed me to change that so that it would be 5 minus x. Um, and it doesn't really matter which one we change to be, we can change the purple one to be x minus 5, or we can change the blue one to be 5 minus x, okay? In any case, uh, since I guess we already did the blue one, I'm going to factor out a negative, I'm going to factor out a negative from x minus 5. So that's just going to change the x to minus and the 5 to a plus giving us 5 minus x if we wanted to make that look exactly the same, okay? So, I'm going to rewrite this whole thing, but I am going to multiply those two twos. I've got 4 times 5 minus x all over, well, that would be a negative 5, and then, uh, yeah, we made that a 5 minus x, right? Well, those are going to cancel out, and that gives us f of x equals uh, 4 over negative 5 or negative 4 fifths. Any one of those will work.